Hi, this is Chip, your computer. Welcome to EcoVision. This is Chip. Welcome to EcoVision. Click on a site to begin an investigation. If you want to know more about a site, click on Guide. Click on a site to find out what's happening there. Click on the movie you want to see. Welcome to EcoVision. I was just updating some of Chip's files. He's got a huge appetite for information, sort of like my kid brother on ice cream. By the way, I'm Michelle. I help EcoVision agents like you with their investigations. People from all over the country contact us wanting help or information about problems where they live, environmental problems like waste disposal, oil spills, surface mining, problems that affect the conditions around us. That's where you come in. We need help at all of these sites. We'd like you to pick one of them to help investigate for us now. You'll use Chip to answer any questions. When you're finished, As an EcoVision you agent, your, back your job to EcoVision. is to investigate problems we'll and issues in science. Help people solve Click the on the file tab, and I'll explain how to use EcoVision files to organize Before your investigation. You your investigation the background file has information that about could the problem help you, you are investigating. It'll help you get started. This is a site screen. The question file it's contains questions EcoVision wants you to investigate. Small on Most the right? of our agents find They're it best icons. to investigate one question at a time. On icon to get information the resources file shows you where to look for You'll information. And others everywhere. So click the data away. file helps Use you investigate you a question need. by making suggestions for data collection. The reports file helps you summarize your findings after you've investigated a question. To be promoted, You'll need to file a report for each question. Use That's your agent's now. log Chip to learn to about EcoVision and to record nice notes, guy, huh? data, Thanks questions, answers, and, and progress reports. You later. Good luck. You're in the Videopedia. You can go to the section you want by clicking on a book. Scroll through the terms and click on the one you want. You're in the Bioatlas. For more information about the different areas on the map, click on a box below. Scroll through the list and click on the organism you want. You've selected deciduous and mixed forests. Go to the section you want by clicking on a symbol. You've selected coastal wetlands. Go to the section you want by That's clicking on a now, symbol. Chip. Thanks for helping EcoVision You've out. selected tropical rainforests. Really important. Go to the section See you, you next want time. by clicking on a symbol. Hi. You've selected the taiga. You Go to the section you want by clicking on a symbol. Whenever people use You've land, selected we deserts. It. Go we to the section the plants, you want by clicking animals, on a symbol. Sometimes the soil or the water. You've Most selected the grasslands. Land Go to the section useful. you want by clicking Take on a symbol. Farm, for instance. If it's managed well, the land You've selected here can be the tundra. Over over Go to the section you want but by clicking on a symbol. But sometimes people damage the land they use, and then abandon it. If they haven't cleaned it up, the land might have safety hazards or environmental problems. Damaged land doesn't have to stay that way. It can be saved by reclaiming it. When you reclaim land, you change its conditions so the land is useful again. At the disturbed land site. EcoVision has been asked to investigate questions about reclamation at an abandoned surface Using mine. these additional questions, you will be able to focus your investigation Pollution, of the question you have chosen. World hunger, toxic waste. Go to Hear these resources these listed today. on the screen for They're help in answering problems. the question you have chosen. That means they affect us all no Select matter where the question we live. you would like to investigate. But sometimes you will find out where you can record the so data you will say, collect hey, during your investigation. But you can do something. 
to help you with your investigation Maybe you can't of this stop cluster, companies from making the aerosol data containers. In the data but you can tell the logbook. people in your town what the chemicals in those Here containers are some suggestions do to our air. For your final report. And those people the can tell others. Can be done on a and before long, the other your local can be action done on your has own. started to help solve a global problem. Makes sense, doesn't it? The first step is making people aware of the problem. The more people that help, the smaller the problem becomes. At this, this site, background you'll file meet Scott. Is a written He'll tell us of the how he fought movie. globally and you acted find locally, it convenient to and how you can to during too. Your investigation. Hello again. You have chosen Here's disturbed time lands. Take you to the disturbed use EcoVision's land files to help you You'll get organized. You'll help us with a problem pretty common in that area in the United States. Use EcoVision's resources. We Good learned luck. about the problem from Todd Spader in 8th This background information will in help with your investigation. As you'll find out in a minute when we talk to Todd, He's got some Here are some ideas for, for using the concerned. resources. First, let's take a look at the problem. Here are some suggestions for collecting data. This is Craig Your Hills, agent's log has more information on preparing your Todd's report. Home. For a long time, Craggy Hills was operated by a coal mining company. But in 1975, the Here coal are some ran questions out. that might help so you get started. So the closed the mine and donated Craggy Hills to the town of Melrose. Select a question you would the like to investigate. The old mine is popular with dirt bikes, then keep but that it's question not so in safe. Mind as and you some people say the environment is damaged. To discover which some resources will help in your investigation, to Craggy Hills. select a question you they want, want to investigate. They want to change the mine so it can be used for something Click on a question to see suggestions like for collecting data. Or her farmland. This is an example of a site screen. Select the file tabs Everyone above the or the icons to the right to learn more about the what they are. It's a hard decision, and Todd the is in a particularly file tough spot. The problem you've been Let's asked go to, to Todd now and get his views. He's standing by the in his room back in The question file contains questions you can investigate. You can pick one question Todd? or all Hi, of them. Hi, welcome to EcoVision. I hope we can help the you solve your problem. The resources file shows where to Thanks, look for Michelle. information I hope to help so answer too. a question It's really you gotten this town stirred up. I've got the an EcoVision agent helps you standing investigate by. A question Why don't you tell us a little bit more about the situation? Data. Sure, well, the me and my dirt bike buddies want to keep Craggy Hills just the way it is now. The training is great for pulling wheelies and spinning out. This is the expert's icon. It's the close experts by. will help focus on have important any place parts like of that the problem at the site. But other people don't feel this that way? This is the research icon. No. There's an environmental the group around here that wants to restore Craig Hills to, to its original state. It used to be a this is the deciduous icon. forest a long time here ago. My biology teacher, Mr. Reynolds, your he's in that group. He's told us about what a great thing it would be to have this the natural the forest back, movie icon. even if it would take background a long time. Movies give information It'd be about sort the of a natural experiment watching the forest go back. This is a hot so spot. So I guess you can see By the advantages spot, of reclaiming the mine to its original site. state. Well, sure, Mr. Here Reynolds, you he knows what he's talking about, about the program. but there's another side, too. From a list the of farmers? helps, you We're can not select ones about that will assist you with the, the material. We're talking about my dad, too. This allows you to lead the program. And his father and grandfather have farmed this corn and for the years. Videopedia. So I've grown up on a farm. Up words or ideas that are unfamiliar. And my dad, he'd give anything to see that old this mine you to turn into some good screen. farmland. From the to see things menu, grow on you it. Can get so you see, to the site to I've got some pretty strong reasons for contacting EcoVision for help. This turns the narration we need some more information to decide what to do. A check mark shows if anything, that the narration is on. with Craggy Hills. Our agent With will get right on it, Todd. Play, we'll have a report change, for you shortly. Rearrange, Thanks a lot, Michelle. And add caption cards to your media clip. Well, that's this your assignment. The on and Investigate off. the Craggy the Hill situation the and come up with a recommendation on. for Todd the about what the town should to do. Create your own media Leave it as it is. Stills or Restore video it to segments. its original state of deciduous forest. This is or turn it into an agricultural land. Remember, the main menu, there are several resources to help you out. Good luck, and we'll see you soon. Click on the expert you want. As a surveyor, what are these experts saying about the this land? site that can help you answer questions? We're going to reclaim it by changing its This contours. is the database icon. Sometimes Databases the show you how things vary through so time or in different you places. Might wonder if we'll ever Use get it databases to, to help with your research. We're talking about moving hundreds. Sometimes this saves your data. Of tons you of can earth. use save to but store your data when doing research. It's Selecting an icon, then around. choosing open, is the same as double-clicking on an icon. Too. This creates a new file. You can use new to create files to save your data when doing to research. To most people, this is just a handful of dirt. But soil is more than that. It's where plants grow, where they root, 
and get moisture and nutrients. When reclaiming land, sometimes you almost have to rebuild the soil before it's possible for things to live there again. At an abandoned surface mine, rebuilding soil might mean bringing in better soils or fertilizer to add nutrients. Or we might add lime to adjust the amount of acid in the soil. You know, rebuilding soil is sort of like baking a cake. If you know the right combination of ingredients, you can really make something nice. As a botanist, I can tell you that without plants, reclamation wouldn't be possible. For one thing, plants prevent erosion. They also provide habitats and food for other organisms and return vital minerals to the soil when they die. But we have to understand plants before we can use them to reclaim land. That means knowing the different conditions that plants are adapted to. Some plants, for example, require a lot of shade. Others do better in direct sunlight. In a reclamation project, we put this knowledge to use. Sometimes we use plants that are already adapted to the conditions that exist. Or we might change these conditions so that different plants will grow. It takes a lot of experimentation, but matching the right plant to the right condition means successful reclamation. Red Rock Pond is a freshwater pond near the Click on the database you want to see. Mine. This How have the number of animals at this pond changed over time? And How do they compare to the there? numbers at the other pond? They collected data before the mine was opened, during mining, one year after mining, and ten years after the mine was closed. Silver Pond is a freshwater pond in Deer Forest. This database was created by researchers who collected and counted organisms found there. They collected data before the Craggy Hills mine was opened, during mining, one year after mining, and ten years after the mine closed. You have Cat's joined Project Green Thumb. Not too far Begin your research Hills. on growing corn he here. Corn on land that's been in Todd's family These are the variables you can control in, in this fact, experiment. Most Click land on the, the one you want. For corn. And These are the experimental conditions you've chosen. Thing to do you can make hills. changes by clicking on Todd a new variable or level. Great for dirt biking. But this up corn on a farm, plant was grown under the conditions the you chose. Measure the height of this plant. Come up with a plant. Corn grown so under different conditions can be seen by clicking on a variable and a level. The best conditions for growing crops, like corn. That way, they can help people figure out how to improve their land to grow crops successfully. By working on Project Green Thumb, you can help Todd and his dad figure out what needs to be done to grow corn at Craggy Hills. This is Craggy Hills, a surface mine abandoned since 1975. Deer Forest is a temperate deciduous forest. Friedman Field has been abandoned for one year. Rabbit Meadow is a field that's been abandoned for five years. Piney Woods is a field that's been abandoned for 15 years. Screech Owl Woods is a field that's been abandoned for 25 years. You have chosen global problems, local solutions. Use EcoVision's files to help you get organized. To investigate, use EcoVision's resources. Good luck. For months, the whole world this background has been buzzing information about trash will help with your investigation. The that may change forever, the way we dispose of waste. Here are some ideas I for using your resources. Now. Is it? Yes, he's arriving now. Let's go talk Here to him. Here are some suggestions for collecting data. Your agent's log has more information on preparing the report. Tell us, Here are some questions how does it feel to go from 8th grader to international megastore? Click well, on a question you'd like to investigate. I have a dream that my project will get so much attention. It started out as a simple meeting, but... To let people know about Collecting this data will help you investigate the this. question. 
But you know, it isn't Click really on a question to find out which resources really will help you investigate. Because of my film, a major Click on a question to see suggestions for collecting data. This background Scott? file information is a written summary Scott? of the background movie. You may Scott? find it convenient to refer Wake to during up. your investigation. Select a question uh, you would like to investigate. Hi, Michelle. Then hi. keep that Sorry question to disturb in mind you. as you explore But that EcoVision agent I was telling you about is here now. Remember, Using these we were talking about your media clip. You will be able to focus I your want you to tell our agent about it. You have chosen. Okay. Well, I heard about waste disposal problems in the big cities. To discover which resources will help in your But I never thought it would happen Select here. Select a question you our want to investigate. Our waste dump was overflowing, and we needed a new one. Go to these resources but the city planet said we fill the new one up in just five years. For help in answering years, the question you have chosen. Unless we cut back on the waste we're generating. Select the Nobody question you would like to investigate. So I investigated EcoVision's resources for information on how other towns handled the problem. Then I made a movie. To help I mean, you with your investigation of this clip. question, using some of the put stuff the data I found. you have collected I in the data all over section the place. of your logbook. At my mom's office, at my dad's club, Here to my are solutions. some suggestions for your final Everybody report. Everybody who saw it got excited the media and decided clip can to be do done something. On the computer. Now the our town has an active recycling program that's a model for the other communities. Can we take a look at it? Sure. Well, first I went into EcoVision's files to find examples of different waste disposal problems. I wanted to show people that it was a global problem that affects people in a lot of places. Then I showed them how things got out of control in another community with a problem just like ours. See, their trash dump just couldn't handle all of it. I used these graphs to explain how the problem could keep getting worse. Finally, and this is what really grabbed them. I showed how people could work together to solve the problem locally. Pretty good, huh? I'm impressed, Scott. Nice job. And thanks. I'll see you later. Scott learned something important. To solve an environmental problem, you've got to be informed. And you've got to let others know. Then you can figure out solutions to the problem and take action. EcoVision is setting up a library of media clips, like Scott's, about global environmental problems. That's where you come in. A lot of the people who contact EcoVision are worried about the disappearance of wildlife. So we've made it our number one priority. Your assignment is to make a media clip about preserving species and what people can do on a local level to help preserve them. Stand by. Click on the expert you Project want. Niche is to learn all we can what are these about experts how saying about this site that can help you answer we questions? We know how they fit in. Why? So we'll know how to protect them. You see, what we found out is that most organisms play a number of roles in their environment. And these organisms can be affected by even the slightest change, especially in sensitive ecosystems, like wetland, tundra, or desert. This is the gopher tortoise. It lives in harsh, dry environments. Like other turtles, it feeds on plants. But what makes the gopher tortoise special is its home, a burrow that can be up to 10 meters long and four meters deep. The burrow offers protection and a good place for raising young gopher tortoises. But hundreds of other species use this burrow too. So if the habitat of the gopher tortoise is destroyed, well, a lot of other organisms will be affected. That's just a sample of the kind of information our researchers all over the world gather for Project Niche. So if someone wants to know something about a species that might be threatened, from a gopher tortoise to a snail darter, they can come to us. Wildlife and plants are among our most basic natural resources. Unfortunately, we're losing them at an alarming rate. But it doesn't have to be that way. If we study our resources and find out why they are disappearing, we can save them before it's too late. That's what the Living Resource Council is all about. You recognize this animal, right? Sure, our national symbol, the bald eagle. But not so long ago, we were in danger of losing it. At one time, bald eagles soared throughout the southern United States. 
But in the early 1900s, populations began to decline. Why? Well, like many other vanishing species, it was a number of reasons. Overhunting, habitat destruction, pesticides in the environment. But now there's a law that prohibits killing the eagles and laws to protect their habitats. So the population of the bald eagle in the United States is slowly on the rise again. It's clear to us that in order to preserve our precious wildlife and plants, we must understand what's making certain species disappear. At the Living Resource Council, that's the first step in saving them. This is the world the way we usually look at it, divided into nations and states, each with its own culture and form of government. But here at the World Ecology Bureau, or WEB, we look at our planet a little bit differently. We know that everything's connected on this biosphere we call Earth, and we know that some of the environmental problems we have now don't recognize boundaries. Deforestation, acid rain, pollution, Damage caused by these in any one place can have far-reaching effects. Webb has brought together scientists and professionals from many fields to turn these concerns about global problems into action. By using the best knowledge and technology available, we try to work out creative solutions and turn these solutions into law. Take acid rain. Webb's investigations led us to several power plants in the Midwestern United States. These plants were burning coal to generate electricity. And coal burning has a lot to do with producing acid rain. The result? The destruction of wildlife hundreds of miles away. Because of our work in the field and in the court, these plants are now using better pollution control devices. You see, it doesn't always have to come down to choosing what the people need for progress over what the environment needs for survival. We at Webb understand that our survival and growth as humans depends on the preservation of our planet. Here's how Scott created his media clip. Using the grabber tool, he put together several shots that showed how waste disposal is a global problem. He grabbed these shots from EcoVision movies. Then he made a caption card that stated the problem. Next, he focused on how the waste in one city had become unmanageable and added more caption cards to help explain the situation. To illustrate what could happen in his town, Scott included graphs he made using EcoVision databases he added another movie showing how people can solve the problem locally and wrapped up his media clip with caption cards. Endangered species Click on the are database you want. that are in immediate danger of extinction. How would you describe the different types of endangered species found in each biome? About how numbers of what comparisons can you make between biomes have changed through time? Deciduous forests are found in areas with moderate rainfall and distinct seasons. The taiga is a coniferous forest found in northern regions. It has low to moderate rainfall, cool summers, and severe winters. Tropical rainforests are found in areas with abundant rainfall and warm temperatures year-round. Grasslands are found mostly in the interiors of continents. They are areas with low rainfall, cold winters, and dry summers. Deserts are areas with very little rainfall and extremely hot and cold temperatures. The tundra lies in far northern regions. It is a cold, dry area where the soil just under the surface is permanently frozen. Marine environments are found along the coasts of continents and in ocean waters offshore. When Scott Begin Wells your research made a media on how to preserve species here. Town, he found out that the, the key profile to catalog the shows you the organisms you've created action. profiles for. The problem of Use the special menu no to assist you in your research. And here's how you can help. At you can add or change background information here. Project Niche, 
the Living Resources Council, and these and the World Ecology will help you Bureau, learn about this organism's with niche. A special interest to the BioAtlas can help you here. They've given us some ideas that we the think will help you out with your LRC module lets you see how different things factors can affect population size and what people can do. Rank you each law according to how you think it might help luck. preserve the species you've chosen. Crops in the Midwest, where like on this, this map do you think this condition the has the greatest effects supply. on wildlife? As with all what do you think land, the effects are where you live? Community of plants and animals was cleared What's to happening to the species we share the environment with? Why do you think crops more species are endangered seasons, in some areas like than others? Are found throughout the southeast. Select a species crops you would like to create a profile insects, for. Weeds and fungi. Answering Most these questions will help you learn about your organism's niche. The ranchers in the southwest often use their land as rangeland for grazing livestock. Rangeland must be managed to keep a balance between the number of animals grazing and the plants that are their food supplies. The cattle grazing in this northeastern forest are an important supply of meat products. Forests used as rangeland are not only a place for livestock to graze, they provide food and habitats for wildlife. Tropical rainforests provide a habitat for a great variety of plant and animal species. Once a rainforest has been cleared for agricultural or other purposes, it is difficult to restore to its original condition. The trees in large forests, like this one in the Pacific Northwest, are an important source of paper products and lumber. Practices for removing trees include clear cutting, where a large piece of land is completely cleared patch cutting, where trees are cleared from smaller tracts, and selective cuts, where single trees are selected and removed. One of the reasons that this northern forest is declining is the effect of air pollution and acid rain. Pollution from cities and other sources can affect ecosystems many miles away. As the human population in coastal areas increases, Wetlands like this southern salt marsh are used for development. This usually requires dredging and filling, which levels the wetland and prepares it for construction. Cities and their surrounding areas are places where vast numbers of people live and work. As people move into cities, land must be developed to provide space for housing, businesses, and industry. Metropolitan areas are centers of activity business, industry, transportation, and development. Because human activity is concentrated in one area, human impacts to the environment tend to be concentrated too. The human population grew along the Great Lakes because they could provide people with the water they needed for drinking, agriculture, industry, and recreation. Lakes often receive the byproducts of these activities, which make them less valuable, even unusable, as resources. Reservoirs and dams help control flooding, and they store water in times of drought. Some dams, like this one in the southwest, generate electric power. Large areas are permanently flooded when a dam or reservoir is built. Shell fishing is an important commercial and recreational activity for people in coastal areas. Many shellfish are highly sensitive to changes in water conditions. Marine fisheries offer an abundant supply of fish and other foods. Large-scale harvesting has made it possible for people inland to enjoy this abundance. Wilderness areas like this forest can be managed for a variety of purposes. Timber, rangeland, wildlife, water, and recreation. Wise management balances these uses so that people can benefit from the environment without causing undue harm. Native and migratory birds depend on this northern wetland for food and shelter. Wildlife refuges like this provide resources for many species of plants and animals. Land that is used to surface mine coal can look hopelessly disturbed but land like this can be reclaimed so that it's useful again. Toxic or hazardous waste that isn't disposed of properly can severely damage water supplies. Restoring the water usually involves a careful and intensive cleanup. 
Industry and transportation can have a radical effect on air quality. But air pollutants can be reduced by emission control equipment.